Welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video all in crypto here and today we are going to be going back down the Cardano ETF rabbit hole. We have some really interesting things to show you guys in regards to supporting our claims that you are going to end up with a Cardano ETF in the not too distant future. We already see three of the largest Bitcoin ETF facilitators actually offer Cardano products in the form of Bitwise's BITW, Grayscale's X Ethereum Trust, and of course, 21 shares AADA product. Today, CoinShares released a report that is a report based on inflows into crypto exchange traded products and Cardano was the third largest crypto project in regards to inflows last week. So Bitcoin, of course, was the first, then Ethereum, and then Cardano. And actually, we had some interaction with Hunter Horsley, who is one of the heads over at Bitwise. He was asked if Cardano was a part of their fund, and he said, yes, it absolutely is. And this is all kind of I believe setting us up or showing us a roadmap of the ETFs, the crypto ETFs that are to come. Of course, we've got Bitcoin through the door. We know that BlackRock and many others have actually applied for an Ethereum ETF. That's looking likely to have a uh, finalization in May. Once you get an Ethereum ETF through the door, then it kind of opens up the floodgates. We know that right now in the United States, there is a gray area in regards to many of these cryptocurrencies. Cardano specifically has been mentioned in a number of lawsuits, but there's been no charges actually levied against IOHK, Charles Hoskinson, um, or the Cardano Foundation, which were all mentioned. So very interesting. I do think all this regular, regulatory uncertainty will ease and ultimately lead to the inevitability of altcoin ETFs. We're going to see it first with Ethereum. Then I think it's likely Solana is going to get one. Probably it's definitely institutionally chosen. Um, and then we're likely going to see something like Cardano and all the others. And I think that we have a good understanding of this based on the sort of crypto products that are already offered by some of the largest Bitcoin ETF facilitators. So before I start, guys, and we don't do this enough, but we really should do, I just want to shout out my stake pool all in. We have been helping to validate and maintain the Cardano blockchain since 2021. Uh, and we'd love it if you guys could get on board, support us, stake with us. Um, you'll get rewards just like you do any other pool. We plan on being here indefinitely. And actually, as we move towards Voltaire, stake pools are going to play more and more of a role of importance as Cardano becomes uh, and, and, and implements a decentralized government system. So do get on board uh, with the stake pool. Let's start things off rather interestingly with a post from Hunter Horsley. Bitwise product suite now includes a Bitcoin ETF, largest top 10 crypto index funds, Ethereum linked ETFs, crypto company ETF, DeFi index funds, blue chip NFT index, alpha strategies and offshore and separate account solutions. Excited to continue to help investors access the opportunities in this ecosystem. And actually you had... Cardano's very own Dan, uh, say, hey, Hunter, myself and many others are curious whether or not you've been looking at Cardano at all. Of course, top 10, Cardano is a top 10 uh, crypto. He then replies to say, yes, of course, Cardano is a holding in a few of our funds, including BITW. Now, what is BITW, you may ask? Well, it is Bitwise's top 10 crypto index. And just to point this out very, very quickly, Grayscale has seen the largest volume in terms of Bitcoin ETFs. They offer in the form of their Grayscale uh, X Ethereum smart contract platforms Cardano. Cardano is second only to uh, Solana. They are the largest in terms of volume in regards to an ETF. You also have iShares, which is BlackRock. They haven't got any Cardano involvement thus far, but they are, of course, applying for an Ethereum ETF. You then have um, Fidelity. No Cardano involvement there just yet. You have ARK21 shares. They also offer a Ethereum, a sorry, Cardano exchange traded product in the form of AADA. We're going to look at the charts of these in just a second because they're all showing a similar thing. Um, and then you have likes of Bitwise, which also we've just been looking at have a product that involves Cardano. Now, this isn't the only product that they have that involves Cardano, but this, I believe, is a 
good roadmap in regards to altcoins and the kind of altcoin ETFs that we're going to see moving forwards because the institutions, same institutions that facilitate the Bitcoin ETFs are also very interested in um, Cardano, uh, probably most notably because it's in the top 10 and, and, and they kind of relate that with demand. So this tweet was very, very interesting. Um, if we now look at this, you can see this is Bitwise 10 crypto index funds. And you can see, of course, what it involves. You've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, XRP, and of course, Cardano in the fifth position. If we just take a very quick look at their product. Actually, this looks damn good to me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we break the market into four stages. This would be a stage one base. You've likely got a head and shoulders in here as well. Just to give you a quick target on that. Don't see many other people. I, I must say that the caliber of Cardano content is really poor, uh, to be honest. You know, you're potentially looking at a $46 price prediction for this fund. So that's Bitwise, the third largest ETF facilitator also involved in Cardano. You then have, of course, Grayscale. Now they have this in an they have Cardano in a number of different products. They have it in their large crypto fund as well as that x ethereum trust i think it's third or fourth in the large crypto fund it includes bitcoin of course ethereum solana and ada and then in their x ethereum fund they've got six holdings and cardano is one of them the second largest at 20 percent of the fund let's take a quick look at this from a price point of view they're all pointing in the same direction in my opinion and you can see similar thing we've identified our first head and shoulders target that we were looking at earlier this year has been made and now the second one so this is now an uptrend stage two and we have higher technical targets predicted Potentially, you can relate that to Cardano, where it's at and what the price may do moving forwards. And then, of course, we've got 21 shares AADA, um, which, of course, is a Cardano exchange traded product. Let's take a little look at this. Looks very, very similar. And you can see kind of a messy chart, lots of little volume, a break on momentum of what we would identify as a stage one base. Come back for a retest. And now you're looking to see continuation. So these charts make me bullish on Cardano as they all represent funds or, or, or certain things that hold Cardano. But I think in regards to being a Cardano holder, you're investing in Cardano at a point where there's no regulatory certainty in regards to it in the case of the United States. However, I do think that's going to come out and it's going to come out positively. Um, you wouldn't have the likes of Grayscale, Bitwise and and uh, 21 shares all dabbling in Cardano if they thought it was going to bring a, 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 a regulatory nightmare. So the last thing of exciting stuff that I want to show you guys is to do with a report that was published today by uh, CoinShares. I watch all their reports. I think they actually give some great um, insight and alpha in regards to the cryptocurrency market. But this is their recent report that, of course, was published today. It literally came out a couple of hours ago, so it will be a few hours by the time you guys are watching this later on this evening. You can see volume 169 digital asset funds flow weekly report. You can see a massive uptick. Um, and the interesting thing here, again, is if you look at the flows by assets, of course, Bitcoin is the big boy in the room. Then you have Ethereum. And then you have zero for multi assets. You have 0 0.1 for Solana. Nothing for Binance. 0, 0.0 for Litecoin. Short Bitcoin product, 0 0.4. And then Cardano at a whopping. 6.1, uh, more than all the other altcoins. And actually, if you come down even further, you know, they break it down by uh, jurisdictions, countries, what flows saw what. Um, you can see the 21 shares products did quite well. Uh, uh, coin shares also offer, I believe, Cardano products. Um, and then if you scroll down, it says Bitcoin saw almost 98% of the inflows, while the price appreciation also Boyd sentiment for Ethereum and Cardano, which saw a hundred, sorry, sixteen million dollars of inflows and uh, six million re retrospectively. So, Cardano is seeing nearly half as much of Ethereum's volume in regards to products, exchange traded products, which I think is rather telling. Minor inflows were also seen in Avalanche, Polygon, and Tron. Very, very interesting. So, we know that we are going to see. Altcoin ETFs, three of the facilitators of Bitcoin ETFs at the moment, the third largest, I think the fourth and the fifth, all offer Cardano products, um, multiple Cardano products in regards to baskets of cryptos where Cardano makes up a large part of it, all Cardano products on their own. I think once we get regulatory clarity, they're going to move to 
launch ETFs in regards to ADA. Um, you know, it's a top 10 cryptocurrency. A lot of these are top 10 funds, so on and so forth. Whether it moves down or, or, or from that or not, we'll see. We are going to be doing a video addressing our concerns with Cardano because we're always very bullish on it. I think it's not good to give the other um, uh, view, perhaps, in regards to what 99% of the Cardano YouTubers, which we think are very lackluster, um, I wouldn't say 99%, maybe 95%, um, don't tell you. Um, because they don't want to upset anybody where well, we don't mind upsetting people in regards to we think honesty is always the best policy. But I do think you are going to see an Ethereum ETF. Then you're going to see perhaps a Solana ETF. Um, it has seen the largest inflows of all altcoins, despite it being down all the time and, and turning on and off. And then maybe something like Cardano and so on and so forth once you've got that Ethereum ETF through the door. And I think this is all uh, things that potentially lead me to believe that. That's really all I've got for you in this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, a like is always appreciated. So as a comment, don't forget if you are a Cardano staker, why not stake with the all-in pool? And on that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.